In desert warfare, the elements can sometimes be more dangerous than the actual enemy. The desert terrain is the second most inhospitable to troops following a cold environment. The low humidity, extremes of heat, cold, and lack of obstacles and wildlife allows the increased use of electronic devices and unmanned aircraft for surveillance and attacks. <laughs> Properties and tactics of desert warfare The barrenness of the desert makes the capture of key cities essential to ensure the ability to maintain control over important resources primarily clean water and being able to keep a military well supplied. As such in conventional warfare this makes sieges a more frequent occurrence as the defender often prepares entrenched positions to protect the cities that they are supplied from. <laughs> Camouflage and cover Many deserts have limited amounts of noticeable landmarks and as such maneuvering through a desert can turn into a logistical nightmare. Militaries often make use of cavalry to traverse the large expanses of a harsh desert without increasing the exertion of the warriors or soldier who are already at a higher risk of dehydration because of the high temperatures during the day. Mobility. <inaudible> <inaudible> Mobility is essential to a successful desert war. This explains the heavy use of armor in battles such as El Alamein in the Second World War. It has been noted that mobility is so important in desert warfare, that battles can sometimes begin to resemble naval engagements, where the actual possession of territory is less important than the positions of one's tanks or ships. There are many enemies to the desert fighter. These include aircraft, and tanks, which can be extremely menacing to desert guerrillas because there is little way to equal such force. Additionally, there are few places to hide from such weapons in the desert environment where there is little obstruction. Another problem is the sand dunes, mobility is reduced by 60%. With no firm and stable ground footing it is easy to slide down or even get buried. Water scarcity Lack of water and extreme heat can also cause complications when engaging in desert warfare. Another lethal enemy is the landmine. Though not limited to desert use, it is a deadly device and underrated in its importance, as it is difficult to detect and can deny mobility. The scarcity of water may lead to change in bases, moving from one position to another looking for a water source. Body temperature In desert warfare an individual's body temperature can reach unusual highs causing fever like weakness and dehydration. Dehydration An individual may have to face conditions of dehydration in desert warfare due to the lack of edible fluids and clean water. See also Topic Important battles involving desert warfare Battle of Gazala, nineteen forty two First Battle of El Alamein, nineteen forty two Second Battle of El Alamein, nineteen forty two Battle of Asaluta, nineteen sixty five Battle of Longawala, nineteen seventy one. Topic Important wars involving desert warfare French campaign in Egypt and Syria, seventeen ninety eight to eighteen oh one Crimean War, eighteen fifty three to eighteen fifty six War of the Pacific in the Atacama Desert, eighteen seventy nine to eighteen eighty four Middle Eastern Theater of World War I 1914 to 1918 Middle Eastern and North African Theaters of World War II 1939 to 1945 Sand War 1963 Indo-Pakistani War of 1965 
Six Day War, 1967. Indo Pakistani War of 1971, Yom Kippur War, 1973, Western Sahara War, 1973 to 1991. Iran Iraq War 1980 to 1988 Gulf War 1990 1991 Second Gulf War 2003 to 2010 2011 Libyan Civil War 2011 Topic Ongoing Desert Warfare Conflicts Somali Civil War 1991 present Syrian Civil War 2011 present 2012 Northern Mali conflict 2012 present Topic Further reading Information site on desert warfare Iraq war Desert warfare Germany experiences in World War II Combined Arms Research Library